If you look at the um, situation over the last 14 years in Russia, Putin has been running a, an enormous kleptocracy. Um, he's stolen amounts of money that we can't even imagine. And um, as time has gone on, the people of Russia have started getting more and more angry. You've seen big um, demonstrations um, out on the streets of Moscow in the last two years. And so what, what's happened recently was when Putin saw um, a much smaller version of, of the same type of kleptocrat that he is, Yanukovych, the head of Ukraine, basically being overthrown by his people for his kleptocracy, Putin imagined um, he was next. He could picture um, barricades being built on Red Square. He could picture ordering the Oman troops to, to mow down uh, 200 people. And then he could picture a million people coming out on the streets and overthrowing him. And so uh, what is this whole uh, Ukrainian thing about? What, what's it all about? This is not about some recreation of the Soviet Union or some historic connection to Crimea. What this is about is very simply that he needed to create a, an enormous big distraction, a distraction that, that took everybody away from his kleptocracy. And, um, and what that means going forward is that um, when people say, what's going to happen next? The answer is that, that in order to feed the distraction, to feed the nationalism, to, to feed this, this uh, craziness that he's, he's sort of stirred up in Russia, he has to carry on doing it. And so uh, those who think that he's going to disengage, it's just not going to happen. Those who think that he's going to stop in eastern Ukraine, that's just not true. I think ultimately and, and most ominously, um, what Putin would like, you know, his big objective would be to um, test NATO. There's a treat, there's a a section of, of the treaty on NATO, Article 5, which says that everybody goes to defense for everybody else. And one day Putin is going, going to go into Estonia or Latvia, and he's going to then create a test. With, is Barack Obama ready to go to war with Russia over 1.3 million Estonians? And I think Putin's gamble is that, that he's not. And if that happens, then you know, God help us what's going to happen without NATO to protect all these little countries.